All right, we got a really special day for you guys today. Now, we've been holding this one back for a long time. This video should have been out a long time ago, but today, today is the day. This is the culmination of living a plant-based lifestyle for five years. This is the assortment that we have come this to. This is what we have learned. And um, so we got all this from our recent grocery haul. And if you want to see that video, please click here and see exactly what we got. Because today we are doing what we call our staple meal. Now, we will have this five days out of the week. At least, sometimes six. And we will eat it twice a day day. Yeah, so, so breakfast, we're waking up for, with bananas, but you know, for lunch and dinner, we will just attack this whenever we want. This is our go-to when I'm hungry. This is what my body's craving. We really wanted to go out and show you the variety that you could use to make a great uh, um, vegetable blend. Usually, it's just whatever's in the fridge. If there's just carrots, celery, Absolutely. and broccoli, boom, it, it's a three vegetable sauce. Let's definitely look out for a, for a what's on sale, and carrots are cheap, and certain things you can get in bulk. And find your favorite options. You know, if you don't like broccoli, don't put broccoli in there. If you don't like asparagus, or you do just put lots of asparagus in there find your favorite vegetables and load up your sauce the way you want it all right so Jay so why don't we give them a vegetable rundown here right here we have the uh, Swiss chard with purple cauliflower mm. purple kale big bok choy celery tomatoes a bell pepper with carrots a sweet potato asparagus spinach sprouts and hey over here we got we, we have we have two squashes we got some spaghetti squash butternut squash did you mention the broccoli hey you know of course we got a bunch of broccoli and then we have two different kinds of beans today we're using a six bean medley in a black bean and then we, of course we're using some long grain brown rice to top it off to get all of our carbs in so when jay and i go around saying that uh, you can eat as much as you want and and we really say that with confidence this is the meal that we're talking about we can really we've been doing this for for a couple of years now. It's no hold, no holding back. You can just attack this. And I have been for over two years now. This has been the meal I've just been slamming in my face. I eat till I'm busting full this every the time. This de the definition of high carb right here. So let's get started. Today we're using a long grain brown rice and this stuff takes 40 minutes to cook. So you definitely want to get that going early because we want everything ready at the same time. So we got our big bowl of huge veggies. I'm telling you, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about this one, Jay. Yeah. There we go. We got our sweet potato that been uh, that have been that have been pre going for us. So add in this sweet veg right there. I need a bigger pot. That's just. Yeah. Send us the link on the perfect vegetable pot, guys, because uh, we're struggling. Hashtag vegan problems over here. All right. There's the veg. But we're not done yet, right, guys? Ready, the boys and girls? Beans. This protein. That's protein right there. But Jay, sadly to say, we're not done yet, Jay. What? We're not done yet. I don't know, how is that not possible? Um, we got this. Is it gonna fit? The kale? Purple kale. Now, you have to place, it's more of a placement technique. See what I did there, guys? See what I did there? But we're not done yet. Okay, so I got spruits. And all the spinach here. Yeah. So you no know, worry. This will cook down a little bit. H, grab the lid. Grab the lid. So this is the technique. It's a tuck and fold. Tuck, fold. Look at that. See, fits perfectly, right, guys? Perfect. H, wonderful job there. Perfect fit every time, right? So we have all our veggies going on the stove with the rice, but the party's not over yet because we got these delicious squash and the asparagus. Luckily, these can both go on the same tray and go in the oven, but the asparagus will have to come out a bit sooner because the squash 
it does take a bit longer to go. And we are gonna lightly, lightly uh, um, paint on some olive oil onto the asparagus with our favorite spices. What else can I say guys? This is vegan paradise. I can smell the nutrition from here. Look at all these whole foods. Three floors of cash. Oh, I'm feeling good, man. This is like a bold artwork. Right Look here, at all man. the symmetry. It's well balanced. It's got the flavors. Mm. I wanted to show exactly how many options that you can do. And um, if you only have like celery or carrots, which has happened to me before, it's no problem. Just only use that. Use what you can. And if you're, you know, feeling good that day, get some squash, get the asparagus in there. Just grab your favorite fruits, throw them in. I mean, purple cauliflower to purple kale. This is just a loaded dish full of nutrients. And I just want to say that, so when we talk about all you can eat meals, we've been literally eating this five days a week, six days a week, maybe seven days a week, and it's no problem. And I'm definitely going to eat two bowls of this today, no problem. You can substitute the rice for the, for the P potatoes and it's a great way to kind of mix it up and keep things what, interesting. Whatever veg you have in your fridge, just throw it in the pot, steam it up, throw it in with your starch. Alright, I gotta eat but I want to say one last thing. Um, Once you get really good at making this meal for yourself, you can get the whole the whole thing done in about 30 minutes and this is lunch and dinner so this is really a time economical move and you can save it for the next day for lunch. Yeah, since we've made it a couple thousand times by now, <laughs> we know we have to start the rice right away and then we get the sweet potato steaming and then we throw the Throw the veg in, and then it all, it all will finish together 20 minutes after we prep it. You know, so Jay, let's see. No, I gotta no, have no, a no, one sec. Hank and I, we eat so much in one day. If we thought about what meals we were gonna prep, and well, we gotta mix it up. It would. I be spending so much time on food. But, but 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 since now that we know all these vegetables are what we want, we can just go to the fridge, throw them in. I have always felt amazing after eating this meal. I've never been like that. Yeah. Down. So we don't have to spend hours of thinking about what we're gonna eat, how we're gonna eat it. It's just go to the staple, make it up. Let, let's get eaten. Hey, cheers, Jeff. Jeff. Hey, hey, buddy. Clinky. Mm. Get these burgers. Get these burgers. Right. Throwing rice on me. I like it. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, yeah. It's every time, guys, because it's fruits and vegetables for life. It's fruits and vegetables for the win. win. So that's fruits. And all the spinach here. Yeah. So no worry. This will cook down a little bit. H, grab the lid. Grab the lid.